<sighs> I'm in the middle of the woods, and I am lost. And I am trying to figure out how do I express to other dear INTPs to explore their broken function, no, weak function of the FE. Well, so here's a few things that I find myself, um, I guess, able to improve on my FE. Because I've, I've heard a lot of people um, have said that, oh, this INTP has a stronger FE than other INTPs. And when I go interacting with I other INTPs, I find that that is actually a true statement. And I was thinking through my life and trying to figure out what have I done and what can I share that can help. Well, this is what I have come up with. So the biggest issue with um, extroverted feeling is that, um, not not with the function itself, but with us INTPs, is that um, it's our attitude toward um, physically expressing our emotion. So a lot of the time there is this fear or lack of value in it. Um, like for instance, like you, um, I don't, sometimes I find myself not wanting other people to think that I am like crying or emotional during an emotional time because I don't want them to assume that this element that's being shared actually touches me in that way. Um, or like some emotional way or something like that. And so I would try to, I don't know, clarify that I wasn't actually emotional or, or I'll do things to, um, squash that assumption which is odd but in the end it's not a bad thing but you you make this there's this assumption that it's not just I'm not wrong not in a moral sense but dangerous or bad or I don't want that kind of assumption over me or whatnot and um and so with other just physical expressions you you don't value their um they're dangerous almost in a, in a strange sense because they're either illogical or um, they're just messy, I guess. Um, and so that's kind of the, the, the attitude towards it. And so what's needing to happen is a paradigm shift and finding value in certain um, feeling expressions. And I feel that I feel um, that uh, there are different INTP, or different I, or INTPs have different um, um, barriers to certain uh, feeling expressions. Um, some may be more open to crying, but they don't want to sing, or or they may be more open to singing, but they don't want to show apathy or not apathy. <laughs> they they show apathy. No uh, empathy, or or some sort. I don't know. Like different. Um, things and so I'm not gonna so hopefully this shows um, this video kind of goes through a couple different things that can be more universal to help um, improving any of them no matter what your thing is but um, so here's a couple thoughts I have so I I find that well I guess it's stem in for what I was just talking about put yourself in a situation where it is actually uncomfortable for you to not be visibly emotionally expressive. Um, and so when I was in high school, I would be a part of plays and um, around people uh, who are far more comfortable in um, emotionally expressing themselves. And so when I wasn't being emotionally expressive, I ended up being the black sheep. <laughs> and um, it was awkward for me to not par participate in their um, emotional expression now it's not going to be I'm not going to be the same level as them um, but it's definitely going to help um, improve that uh, that expressive element and so being in plays uh, being in uh, choirs forcing yourself to do things that ex that demand a an emotional response from you and it's not this intent they it falls apart when your logic gets involved um, the magic and the music and the beauty of something falls apart when when you're more concerned about, um, I guess, the, yeah, the logic and the and the analytical part. Um, so yes, putting yourself in a position where other people are more comfortable with it, and you not participating in their um, feeling expression, um, you actually end up becoming the outlier, and so trying to adapt their um, their uh, their characteristical qualities and um, 
and allow, allowing it to change you and I guess improve upon and because what you're doing um, to rationalize the reason for doing this is that you are adapting and adopting um, other perspectives that are going to help you uh, with your analytical abilities because you're having more input that is stretching your comfort zone and whatnot. Um, another thing, I um, I guess, sorry, to kind of go in with the other one. So like, if you're uncomfortable with singing, like do that, um, playing music, but music can be a little difficult because there are analytical doorways that you can bypass your emotional express expressiveness. So um, I guess if you play music, play with other musicians that um, might, you have to feel out the, um, the, the nuance of what's going on. And so that allows you to um, kind of be in touch with the emotional atmosphere of what's going on. Um, I guess even like allowing yourself to be empathetic and trying to really consider the person's condition and not providing a, a, um, an answer or a solution to their issues, but just allowing a, um, a moment of, of them going through a situation. Um, so yeah, another one is change your language because you would notice that people with certain personality types, they, they value certain, uh, certain, um, certain words, um, that others don't. And so, so with INTPs, for instance, we would probably find ourselves more saying, I think, I think of, I'm going to do this or that. So just switch the word with think to feel, I feel this and kind of allowing the language itself to, um, kind of, uh, I guess, shake the roots of your brain. <laughs> Um, because now you're trying to express something that you haven't fully developed yet. And and so you are learning how to articulate um, uh, that, ele that, that side of you, which you're going to struggle, but the more you um, um, pursue that side, uh, you're going to discover certain things that you may didn't even know about yourself because you are a human being and you do have mo emotions to some level. And so recognizing how the world does influence your life and how you are disappointed with something or frustrated about something or read something a certain way. And so now you're being manipulative or um, attacking another person and you don't really know why. And so it's just it's it's filing down your emotive state um, so that you can actually identify what you're truly feeling and um, and be able to articulate it. And so that you yourself can actually um, perform and behave properly because now you know how you feel, I guess. Um, so those are a couple things uh, that I have come up with, I guess. And um, also my brother, like being around people that have a stronger FE, like INFJs, um, they are going to definitely challenge your um, paradigm because they're going to state things in this noodly web that it's it might take a second for more linear analytical people to kind of catch up or find the loops or the connections and whatnot. Um, oh, and I guess another one is just like, allow yourself to be angry or, or sad or happy. Like allow that to come out and it's not going to be rational necessarily. And it's not going to be, you might have to ask for forgiveness <laughs> um, because it's just it's being spit out there, spit, spit out there, spit, spit it <laughs> out there. Um, and so that kind of emotional, I guess, uh, expression um, is good to just help identify things um, and whatnot. So, but it's okay because, like, what's nice about INTPs, we are rather steady people. Um, and there is a risk of if you allow yourself to go in that way and you're not being careful with it, you can let it become this really big mess. So like if you're allowing your emotions to go out, then you kind of run the risk potentially of allowing that to get in the way of a very tedious logical string or like process that you're trying to figure out. And, um, 
And if you allow an emotional spurt during that time, you might uh, kink the system a little bit. But what you'll actually may end up doing is making a jump that is uh, intuitive, I guess, but it's like feelings, I don't know. But it, the, the whole thing is it's a process and you're, you're learning like what does make you have these evo emotions and whatnot and you wanna find out what are the connections because there it, nothing's too nothing's just random like these things come from somewhere your emotions come from somewhere and you just have to find out where those are um and whatnot so anyways so let me know in the comment section below other intps that feel like you have a pretty decent fe i know i'm still working on it like i i'm not that good <laughs> um uh, with my FE, um, I wish I was. In my mind, I am. But as soon as I'm around other people, I'm like, Ugh. so. Whoa, there's a lot of birds. Anyways, so yeah, leave me let leave me a know in a comment section below. <laughs> and anyway, um, so yes, let other people know and help each other out. Um, other FE people, like, that have a stronger FE, um, what do you do that makes it feel, makes you feel a lot more comfortable in expressing your FE? Um, and even FI, I guess. Um, but more specifically FE. And I'll see you in another video, never life, you never know. I'm struggling with words right now! I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! It's 11 minutes, 34, 5 seconds. Okay, I'm just gonna press the stop button.